what's going on in America is disgusting. Over in Texas, they've gone back to the dark ages. After almost 50 years, the US Supreme Court appeared to end the constitutional right of American women to have an abortion. The court chose not to strike down a Texas law that effectively banned abortions after six weeks, even in the case of rape or incest. Utterly horrific. Did you see what the guy who wrote the law said? Not to be arrogant, we believe it's the best heartbeat bill passed in America. We feel good about it. How can you feel good about forcing a woman to give birth after she's been How can you feel good about Texas offering a $10,000 reward for people who turn in women who want abortions? Who's running Texas? The Taliban? How deeply inhuman is that? But then listen to the way these men describe women. There's a host body, and that host body has to have a certain amount of rights because at the end of the day, it is that body that, that g carries this entire other body to term. She's not a host, she's a woman with a name <laughs> and a body that is none of your business. It's always men telling women what to do with their body, innit? You don't see women calling the cops because we <laughs> too much. <laughs> And when you think about it, masturbation kills way more babies than abortions. <laughs> like, I'm not... I don't want to seem callous, but when I was a teenager... Ooh! <laughs> we're talking millions! <laughs> In fact, the noise that should happen when a man comes is this... It's horrific. And it's not just in America. Look what's happening in Britain. Schools are telling girls to wear shorts under skirts to stop upskirting. Talk about victim blaming. Girls should be free to wear their school uniform without any fear of harassment. There's only one, exactly. <laughs> there is only one group of people who should be forced to wear shorts under their skirts, and that is Scottish men. <laughs> Right? True. Nobody wants to see this. <laughs> Gavin Williamson thought that was Nicola Sturgeon. Join... <laughs> Trump talks about the Second Amendment like an infant. The Second Amendment purpose is to guarantee our right to defend ourselves and our families. We need that. In fact, I have a license to carry in New York. Can you believe that? Nobody knows that. <laughs> He's such a child. America needs an adult, not a kid. People are going to keep dying until that gets changed. And Americans go, you can't change the Constitution. You can. It's been amended 27 times in 200 years. Trump wants to make America great again, so make it great. Get out the tipex, change the Constitution, and start saving lives. <laughs> But he won't, because in the same week, the same week that 58 people died, rather than talking about guns, he rolled back on Obama's rule which gave women free access to birth control. Employers in America used to give women the pill for free, and for no reason, he got rid of it. When it comes to gun control, Trump's a pussy. When it comes to birth control, he's a <laughs> <laughs> It's just, like... The morning after pill is vital. It means women don't ruin their lives because of one mistake. If only America had a morning after pill for the election. <laughs> <laughs> and the world is a better place. It's just, it's just getting ridiculous now. Do you feel that? It's getting ridiculous. He's like a joke. He's like some kind of idiot genius. He does something insane to change the conversation. There's been a shooting. Let's punish women. There's been a hurricane. I know. I'll pronounce Puerto Rico like nobody ever has. We are also praying for the people of Puerto Rico.
We love Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. He's like a dad showing off in a tapas restaurant. I'll have the patatas bravas <laughs> and some jalapeno. <laughs> the big talking points in the news is the new Gillette ad. Here's a snippet. We believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right oh, way. Bro. Not cool, not cool. Basically, if you watch the whole ad, it's an ad about being a decent modern man. And what did Piers Morgan think about it? Let's be clear, Gillette now wants every man to take one of their razors and cut off his testicles. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I must have missed that bit. It's just an ad saying don't be a bully or a sex pest. I think it's brilliant. And do you know why? Any ad that makes Piers Morgan want to castrate himself <laughs> has to be a good thing. Sure. Go on, Piers. Do it. Go on, Piers, make your point. Lop off your nuts. <laughs> it would be great. Nobody would be able to take him seriously. Switch on the news. I tell you what I'm annoyed about. <laughs> I'm a ball, Susanna. Bloody vegans. <laughs> In fact, that should be the new ad. <laughs> Just like snipping his nuts off. Gillette, I've done something I regret. <laughs> such a pointless dinosaur. I mean, who gets upset with an ad that has this in it? In ways big... Yo, men, ...and small. I am strong. I am strong. What's he watching? He goes, no, she's not, she's a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely beat her up. <laughs> oh, big man, big man, muscle. <laughs> what does he want the dad to say? You'll never get paid as much as men. Now, make my dinner while daddy shaves his beard. Cos <laughs> daddy man! <laughs> Let's be honest, the only reason Piers likes a close shave is so that Donald Trump won't get a rash on his arsehole. <laughs> this will blow your mind. Have you seen the law change Trump's government sneaked through? Trump administration quietly changes definition of domestic violence and sexual assault. They've made it easier for a husband to abuse his wife. It's shocking. This passage was taken out of the official definition of domestic violence. Any behaviours that intimidate, manipulate, humiliate, isolate, frighten, terrorise, coerce, threaten, blame, hurt, injure or wound someone. Of all the problems in America, mass shootings, the opioid crisis, and Trump's like, we need to stand up for intimidators, threateners, manipulators, people like me. <laughs> the man is disgusting and unbelievably, his voice president had the cheek to compare him to Martin Luther King. One of my favorite quotes from Dr. King was, now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. You think of how he changed America. He inspired us to change through the legislative process to become a more perfect union. That's exactly what President Trump is calling on the Congress to do. He compared Donald Trump to Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King is responsible for prose like this. If I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. Trump, not quite so deep. I don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> I don't like those mosquitoes. I never did. <laughs> Bad mosquitoes. I call them buzzy no-nos. 